The Searchers, a 1956 American Western film directed by John Ford, is considered one of the greatest and most influential films of the genre. Starring John Wayne, the film is an adaptation of Alan LeMay's 1954 novel of the same name. It tells a complex and emotionally charged story of revenge, racism, and redemption set against the expansive and rugged landscape of the American West. The story begins in 1868, three years after the end of the American Civil War. Ethan Edwards, John Wayne, a Confederate veteran with a mysterious and troubled past, returns to the Texas ranch of his brother Aaron, Walter Coy, and his family. Ethan's arrival is met with both joy and tension, particularly from Aaron's wife, Martha, Dorothy Jordan, hinting at a deeper and unspoken history between them. Shortly after Ethan's return, a Comanche raiding party led by the ruthless chief Scar, Henry Brandon, attacks the Edwards homestead, killing Aaron, Martha, and their son, and abducting their two daughters, Lucy, Pippa Scott, and Debbie, Lana Wood, and later Natalie Wood as the older Debbie. Devastated and consumed by a desire for revenge, Ethan sets out to find the girls, accompanied by his adopted nephew, Martin Paulet, Jeffrey Hunter, who is part Cherokee. The search for the kidnapped girls becomes a years-long odyssey, marked by numerous challenges and encounters with various characters. Along the way, Ethan's deep-seated hatred for Native Americans becomes evident, driving a wedge between him and Martin, who respects and values human life regardless of race. As the years pass, Ethan and Martin discover that Lucy has been killed by the Comanches. Their quest then focuses solely on finding Debbie. They receive word that she has been living among the Comanches and has become one of them. Ethan's obsession with finding Debbie is complicated by his racist belief that she is now tainted and beyond saving. The climax of the film occurs when Ethan and Martin finally track down Chief Scar's camp. They launch a daring rescue mission to save Debbie, now a young woman. In a powerful and pivotal scene, Ethan finds Debbie and initially seems intent on killing her, unable to accept her transformation. However, at the last moment, his humanity prevails, and he decides to spare her life, lifting her into his arms and declaring, let's go home, Debbie. The film ends with Debbie being reunited with the remnants of her family. In the iconic final shot, Ethan stands alone in the doorway, framed against the vast wilderness, symbolizing his perpetual outsider status. He turns and walks away, forever isolated from the domestic world he has helped to save but can never fully join. The Searchers is acclaimed for its rich storytelling, complex characters, and stunning cinematography. John Ford's use of Monument Valley as a backdrop provides a visually breathtaking and symbolic setting, emphasizing the isolation and grandeur of the American frontier. The film also delves into darker themes, such as racism, vengeance, and the psychological scars of war. John Wayne's portrayal of Ethan Edwards is one of his finest performances, showcasing a depth and complexity that goes beyond his typical roles. Ethan is a deeply flawed hero, driven by a combination of duty, vengeance, and an internal struggle with his own prejudices. The Searchers has had a lasting impact on cinema and popular culture, influencing numerous filmmakers and being referenced in various films and TV shows. Its exploration of the American mythos, coupled with its moral ambiguities, ensures its place as a classic and a touchstone in the Western genre. Please subscribe to the channel.